just say that I, I regret that this is an opportunity missed for the new Democratic majority. Uh, and if it's all about wanting to have one more of the six for 06 uh, to take home during the August recess and say, well, now we've passed three of the six, I would say, uh, Mr. Speaker, uh, that it should only be 2.25 at the most, because this, as my colleagues have pointed out, uh, this reform is only about a fourth uh, of what was brought to us uh, in that first couple of weeks of the 110th as part of the 6 for 06. Six promises that were made to the American people that if you elect us, the Democrats, uh, to a new majority, this is what we will deliver for you. And I will say again, Mr. Speaker, that this is a tremendous opportunity missed on behalf of the new majority. Uh, this bill just absolutely does not go far enough. Uh, and, and speaking to that point, uh, Mr. Speaker, I want to point out that in, in the bill that we passed in the House last year, in the 109th, when Republicans uh, enjoyed majority status, I had an amendment to this bill uh, which I think that uh, we, we need to have as part of the bill today. Uh, and it was passed by voice vote. Ye I, yes, I regret, as the majority leader pointed out a minute ago, uh, that the other body did not go to conference on, on this good, sound, solid bill that had my amendment as a part of it. Uh, but let me <clears throat> point out quickly, Mr. Speaker, what that amendment says. Twenty years ago or more <clears throat> in this Congress, a person could retire, a member could retire, and actually take what money they have in their campaign account, whether that's five figures or six figures or seven figures, could take that with them at retirement and convert that into personal gain. They could buy a Malibu beach home or a, a Rolls Royce car if they wanted to, or send their children to the most expensive college in the nation to do. They could con convert those campaign funds to personal use. Well, in the wisdom of the Congress, that was ended uh, about 20 years ago. And just before it ended, a number of members retired, took, took retirement, so they didn't have to forfeit that money. Uh, that was a good change. Well, we have a situation now, Mr. Speaker, uh, where a lot of members form what are known as leadership PACs. Now, they don't necessarily have to be in leadership. Uh, I formed a, a, a PAC that I called Doc PAC and raised a little money for that so-called leadership pack. But what I am talking about is the fact that the, the most powerful members of the Congress, both in the House and the Senate, form these leadership packs. Let me just give you a couple of names of, uh, not members, but the names of the pack. Searchlight Leadership Fund pack in the other body in the 2006 cycle raised $2,346,000 spent $300,000 on that mo of that money to other candidates, to support other candidates in, th in that party, which is an appropriate use of that money. But $2 million of it was spent for God knows what, Mr. Speaker. Uh, another PAC, Hill PAC, uh, raised $2,900,000. Keeping America's Promises, $7,750,000 raised in the 06 election cycle. Vol PAC, $8 million raised in the 06 election cycle. There is nothing, Mr. Speaker, in the rules that says that money cannot be converted to personal use when these members, some of whom have recently retired, or are going to retire in the near future. So I would think that members on both sides of the aisle would want to support something like this, to say that once a member leaves this body, uh, though that PAC money cannot be converted to personal use. That gentleman's time has expired. And if I could ask for an additional 30 seconds. Gentleman's recognized for an additional 30 seconds. And I thank, thank the gentleman. And uh, so in conclusion, Mr. Speaker, let me say once again, I have great respect for the chairman of the Judiciary Committee, and I'm not opposed to the bill. Uh, and I know he's worked hard, and I plan to support it. I'm just saying that the opportunity was missed. We should have gone much further. I hope that sometime in the near future we'll solve some of these problems like this leadership pack issue. And with that, I yield back, Mr. Speaker. Jump.